These cyborg roaches might just save your life. Yes, cyborg roaches. Scientists have figured out a way to control cockroaches using tiny backpacks. The goal is to one day use the insects to search for survivors of natural disasters, making use of the small creature's ability to easily navigate piles of rubble and debris. So how exactly does a cyborg cockroach work, other than sounding like something straight out of a sci-fi horror movie? Well, scientists in Japan mount small solar backpacks onto the backs of cockroaches. They use Madagascar hissing cockroaches for the experiment since they're big and wingless. The backpacks include electronics and a solar cell film that's around the width of a human hair. The cell generates power that's used to send signals to the roach's sensory organs, and anyone can control the movement of the insect with a remote control. In the event of a natural disaster like an earthquake, these cyber roaches could help quickly find survivors that first responders could then work to free. Cyborg roaches, David. By the way, I took a screenshot of David as we were going through that over on my other computer. I'm gonna post that later to my uh, Twitter account to make sure you guys see it. Please come, JR Jackson on Twitter. You're gonna see David's natural reaction to that video. But how about some details first? Because as you saw there, these cyborg roaches can save lives. The batteries inside the small robots run out quickly. This is the reason why they're now using roaches instead of small. Because I'm thinking, why not you create a small robot bug? And geez, bro, you're putting stuff on these guys' backs. Just reasons why. The batteries inside small robots, if they created them, would run out quickly. So the time for exploration becomes shorter. A key benefit of a cyborg insect is that when it comes to an insect's in movements, the insect is causing itself to move. So the, the electricity required is nowhere near as much. Hmm, so instead of batteries, let's just use their own internal energy systems. Cuz you know cockroaches, once they start going, they do not stop. <laughs> but the research still has a couple issues still happening. So in a recent demonstration, Riken researcher, uh, your, uh, your hero, Kake, used a specialized computer and wireless Bluetooth signal to tell the cyborg roach to turn left, causing it to scramble in that general direction, success. But given when, uh, but when given the right turn signal, the bug turned in circles. Hmm. Well, they're gonna have to work on uh, that part. But one more piece here, because wearing this backpack, being put into this uh, a robot to turn them into your own personal remote control car, um, it didn't really kill the bug either. Because I was thinking maybe it's gonna zap a little bit of his energy systems. But the backpack and film can be removed, allowing the cockroaches to go back to life in the lab's terrarium. The insects uh, mature in four months, and they've been known to live up to five years in captivity, apparently to do the bidding of folks to go into rubble to save people. I guess at least to locate them, something like that. But one thing is for sure, if you're passed out or maybe you're trapped in a building and you see a pack of cockroaches coming to your face, don't panic, they're there to help. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and they're wearing backpacks and you're supposed <laughs> to sort of stay calm and wonder, you know, think I've been hit in the head and I've got all this debris on me and now I've got roaches with backpacks that are climbing up and circling around and going around in circles with me. I look, I get the good intentions. And if this is somehow, if this can save lives, if they can get at people who are under debris, God bless them that they're trying to figure this out. I just sort of wonder if it's really even practical. And all the time that they're spending on trying to figure out how to guide these roaches and get them to respond to human commands, when the roaches don't do that. We know that the roaches don't do what we want them to do, mm -hmm. they do whatever they wanna do. And the damage that you're gonna cause to the emotional distress of people who are already under emotional distress, I don't know, I, I would rather just get crushed. I just <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's, you know what, and how many of, because it crossed my mind, I don't know what's happening to me. But I was like, what if that roach doesn't want to be uh, equipped with a backpack on and have to be sent into a disaster area to go look for uh, humans? Maybe he wants a couple of crumbs. Maybe he wants a big goop of old ice cream sitting on the floor. I don't know what cockroaches want. Or maybe uh -huh. they want to go in your mouth because he had some sweets <laughs> and they want to chew it out of your teeth before you die. <laughs> don't put that in people's heads, Schuster. Cockroaches don't do that. I'm gonna oh, search okay. that. I'm gonna search that later so I don't make sure.